Hey Dals, so today I'm taking a look at this Icon Pro by Absolute New York. It's a 35 shadow palette and I'm comparing it as much as I can to the Morphe 350. This palette is called the Icon Pro Sahara Sunset and the Morphe 350 palette is Nature Glow. They both have 35 eyeshadows. Um, the Icon Pro has matte, satin, metallic, and shimmer finishes, and the Nature Glow says it only has matte and shimmer. The Sahara Sunset has 50.44 grams, and Morphe's palette has 56.2 grams. It's $29.99 online, um, but I paid $19.99 at my local beauty supply store with tax. And it's $22.99 for the Nature Glow plus four day Fed X shipping is $8.26. And then there's also tax. So I really was impressed with the packaging. The box is really nice. It has a textured honeycomb finish. Both ends were taped off sealed. And then when you pull the palette out, there's this big full size packaging of bubble wrap surrounding the package. After you pull the package out of the bubble wrap, there's also some shrink wrap wrapped around it. And um, so you have to peel that off. It's sort of stuck to it, but it's not stuck to it with an adhesive. So I believe it's some sort of shrink wrap. So once I've removed that, you can see that it's a very shiny palette. The colors show through very well. Unfortunately, my camera isn't picking them up as well. But the colors look very, very similar, in my opinion, to the Morphe 350 Nature Glow palette. Uh, again, 35 colors, um, and they are neutrals. Um, I did like that they're satin in these uh, in this eyeshadow palette, and the back has the ingredients, the pan sizes and also that it is made in wherever uh sorry i couldn't get that it went back so fast i should have wrote it down let's see it is made in republic of peoples of china so um here i had taken off the plastic and i'm going to try to get a couple of little swatches in but i did want you to just see how beautiful the colors look and like i said unfortunately I couldn't get the colors true and then when I was doing the swatches I probably should have put the palette down on a solid surface because I really couldn't get my fingers into the pan well enough to get a really true version of the swatches but um, like you can see the palette is gorgeous the swatches that I'm doing pay no kind of homage to this palette as you'll see while I'm doing the look but the Colors are really true to the colors that are in the palette, and the I'm just really loving it. It's a gorgeous palette, and um, there is another one that they have that I'm think considering purchasing. I'm not truly a neutral color girl, but I really was impressed with this palette. So, if you'd like to see what look I came up with, please stay tuned. Hey, it's your girl Adina, aka Mistress underscore Glamparian. Just so you know, I'm about to do all sorts of no-nos in this video because I'm supposed to be trying to go out to my daughter's job just to surprise her, bring her lunch. Because um, I think you all know that she's just been my cheerleader recently. Uh, she's just been there for me to no end. Um, but I wanted to try out this um, icon Pro palette which is by Absolute New York and also try to do kind of semi walkthrough on my brow foundation contour blush all this stuff I don't even have first of all I don't even have all my products out two I'm using new products that I've never used before which is a no-no for me if I'm going out well not just necessarily new but stuff that I haven't used either in a while or have never used and um, and I'm trying to record it. So, I mean, this is just like a bunch of no-nos that I'm doing. So, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in. What I'm going to do is my brows. And I wish that I could get all close up on this camera. But I can't because, I mean, on my mirror. But I can't because if I do, then I get out of frame. So, I'm just going to use my mirror that I've been using. But it also 
Let me put this light on over here. Maybe that'll help out. So, I hope that made a difference. <laughs> if not, oh well. So, okay, so I started off with my brows, and I did blade these. I used a, um, you know, one of those little shavers. I really hate those things, but my brows are so bad, and in one of my um, Instagram videos, I explained about what happened to that. So I'm using my Dollar Tree Duo, the Color Mates Brow Powder. Um, that's just my favorite. As you can tell, I hit pan and I went up there yesterday and bought two more just so I would have them. I do have two that I haven't opened, but I'm sticking with that because it's been working. So I fill in my brows using this uh, double-ended Echo Tools brush. And one end is angled and the other end has a fluffy brush. And one of my brows is higher naturally than the other. I think it's because this side of my face may be a little more muscular because I'm able to do this with this one. I can't really do it on this side. So I don't have twin brows. I don't even have sister brows. I have more like cousin brows. I do the best I can to try to get them to look semi-similar. But even when I try to arch them with filling in first, and then going in to, you know, correct, they still don't come out all the way similar, and I'm okay with that. Um, I think it makes me look a little more natural because my brows aren't asymmetrical. They're similar, <laughs> but not asymmetrical. So you can see how I outline my brows. And another thing is you may notice you may have a hard time making your brows look similar because your face, like I said, one side may be a little more muscular. So you may have one part of your face that protrudes a little more and be flatter on another side. So you're not going to look exactly similar. And um, in nature, if you look at like flowers, they are not all the way symmetrical. They have oddities about them so I try to embrace what is odd on me I don't think I really have a typical look I don't look like the Instagram people <laughs> you know I don't have that beauty look I just do what I can with what I have and I'm good with that okay so I try to leave like this little bit of my brow not filled in because that's where I use the fluffy brush and I start off as you can see the pan that I've hit is the darker brown but I also use the lighter brown to fill in the front end of my brows and also to go over the darker brown just to soften it up a little and I really just use kind of like padding motions right here drag it a little bit but mostly padding to blend in that front the, t the front end of the tail and then, you know, dip back in it for the other side. And I hope this video doesn't drive people crazy because this video is probably going to be long. I'm probably going to have to stop it at one point because I can only record and edit 15 minute sections for my video editor to upload it to YouTube. So at one point I will have to break the video and you'll probably see that break but I'll try to be continuous just so that you can see everything that I do okay so that's on and then the next thing I do is I've been liking using the um, Maybelline a instant age rewind the lifter primer inside uh, foundation this one is in honey beige so it comes in a pump and it's the one with the swirl around it and so I just do like a as little of a pump as I can a half a pump if that's what it is a half a pump and then I use my Morphe um, flat concealer brush to clean up my brows and really they look the way I want them to but I just like my brows to look crisp so I'm gonna do that and I think I'll try and speed this part up so you can see what it is but I don't need to be talking through it
So after that, I go in, uh, you know, unconventional stuff. I use my Nika K New York lipstick. And that is in number three. It doesn't um, really give a name. It's just NMS number three. And um, I use that for correcting. So I put a few dabs around my mouth and I just dab. I don't smear or pull. Just dab. Just to go over the hyperpigmentation in my dark circles and my eyes. And then I go in with this brush that I got from Walgreens quite some time ago. You can see the color is all worn off of it. I've had this forever. And then I dip back into whatever is left over on the back of my hand to kind of lighten the orange a little so it's not as orange. And then I work that in. So speed that up too. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I apply my LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. If that's not a mouthful. And this is in the color sand. And then I apply that with a stippling brush. And this happens to be my favorite. I didn't use it yesterday intentionally so that it would be clean today to do the video. So I still have a little bit of the age rewind on the back of my hand. I just blend that in with what's with what two pumps? Yeah, two pumps of the LA Girl Pro concealer. And I'll speed through that. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that after I have kind of patted into the areas on my face, I go in with this Hard Candy Sheer Hydrating, Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. Um, it's moisturizing. I love this. And I also have something that I'm going to try and do another video on about just my face prep. But I apply some of this all over my face and then I buff it in. And I feel that that keeps me from getting a cakey look. Now, the one thing I don't like about that pump is the stuff comes out kind of in bursts instead of a mist. And uh, it's kind of jolting, but now I'll apply that and buff it in. Okay, so after that, this was one of the other no-nos that I did. I didn't have all of my products ready. <laughs> okay, so after that, I do a little concealing and highlighting. And I use Cool Tan, which is also from LA Girl. 
and I think everyone uses this brand, uh, Pro Conceal High Definitions Concealer. So I apply that, and this one, this is about time for me to open another one. I have another one, but I'm going to try and get all of this out that I can. I'm probably going to have to cut the end to get some of it out, but um, I just apply it, you know, under my eyes. You know, the general areas. I hate saying the same stuff that everybody says already. But, uh, you know, hey, what works, works. So after that, I um, do what contouring I'm going to do. Now, I'm not a liquid or cream um, contour user. I do have some that I play around with them every once in a while, but I'm already behind in time not to be trying out some other stuff. So I'm going to stick with something that I know works. Like I said, I don't have my products out. <laughs> I'm going to use my L.A. Girl a lot of LA Girl products. This is not a sponsored video. All of this stuff I purchased myself. Uh, LA Girl Spiced Beauty Brick. And so it has two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. As you can see, this is my favorite because I've hit pan on the uh, bronzer and also on the highlighter. Uh, haven't hit it on the blush because I blush. I don't. You don't have to use that a lot at all. And um, the brush that I use is a brush that I got from Walgreens. It was in that um, Evil Queen set. This is the brush that I use to contour the perimeter of my face, my cheeks, you know, hollows of my cheeks and my forehead and along my jawline. And then for my nose, I know this seems like a big brush, but hey, I got a big nose. Now just do the contouring portion of my look. I hope I'm recording. I better check and see if I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, my room is a disaster. I know. I'm just doing all sorts of no-nos today. I, I wanted to do this video, and I feel that I won't do videos because I start procrastinating and doing other stuff. Uh, and so I want to get better at that. So just going to contour away.
Okay, so then after that, just to give me a nice finished look and to set my face without giving a real drying look because I prefer a dewy look, um, I'm going to go in with this Bronze Gems Bronzer, which is by Physicians Formula. And I'm going to apply that all over my face just to soften up everything. It softens my brows. It softens the... Uh, contour that I really didn't contour hard today and I usually don't I try not to and it'll also set under my eyes so I use a big fluffy brush I got this from Avon quite some time ago um, this is from their mark brand and I just apply that all over my face Okay, so now that that's done, I go in to start my eyeshadow look. So, um, you know I'm all about the budget. Um, and although some products are inexpensive, they may not be inexpensive for the long run. So for example, I use the Color Tattoo by Maybelline. But they dry out so fast. And so, I mean, that's not budget friendly for me. So, I've been using my MAC Parently Paint Pot. I use that the most. I do also use the NYX Skin Tone Base, the Eye White, uh, and then they also have the white with the shimmer. I use those. They're pretty good, but my standard would be the MAC Parently Paint Pot. Um, I did have other paint pots, as you know before, but don't have them now, so um, I applied this with a, another... Uh, like concealer brush this one I did use yesterday so it's got some gunk on it but um so I use this brush to apply it all over my eye and then I blend it out with a RC Cosmetics um it's like a blending brush not certain quite what to call it maybe a kabuki kabuki Ka kabuki brush Okay, so now we're going to get to the good part. I'm going to start using this Icon Pro eyeshadow palette, which is from Absolute. Um, I don't have the Morphe 350 palette, but it just seems that this palette is very, very similar to it. And when I did the swatches earlier, I can't say that they were good swatches because I was holding the palette in the air. So while I was trying to press down on the palette, it was, you know, giving. So... We'll see how I like these. Um, I'm not really a neutral colored person, but I said, hey, I want to try this palette out. So I'm going to go in first with this. Uh, and I have used this brush, um, so I hope that doesn't affect. Let's do this. Let's use this little mat right here. And let's clean that off. Get that off of there. I want to show the true colors from the palette that I'm about to use. So I'm going to start off with this orange shade right here. And I'm going to apply that as my transition shadow. And um, try and stay away from my lid area. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, so it's, it's matte shadows for these less expensive brands usually don't do all that great. But um, I haven't had any problem with Absolute New York. Uh, they are associated with Nika. Whoa, I should have went a little lighter with that. Okay, well, we know one thing. The. Uh, 
Matte shadows are pigmented. And I don't have a lot of fallout. I don't hardly have any fallout. I did tap the brush off. Let's just blend this out. Okay, so here I am doing a no-no. I'm going to try this. Uh, I have not used any of the Wet n' Wild brushes that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Um, they were really just for looking at. But, you know, I am I want to use them. I want to see if they really work because I've trusted Wet n' Wild stuff before. So I think I'm going to apply mm, this uh, kind of coppery shadow. The, like the one that's underneath that orange that I just applied as my um, transition shade. So I'm going to try that all over my lid and see how I like that. Okay, so next I'm going to use a small fluffy brush and I'm going to deepen my outer V. Uh, I think I'm going to try this shadow right here at the bottom, or closest to the second from the bottom, and um, blend that in. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, so now I'm going to clean off, maybe I don't have to clean it off, I could, well, I'm going to clean it off. Clean off that same Wet n Wild brush because I'm going to try and apply one more shadow. And I'm going to use that on the inner corner and I think I will try this kind of golden color. Um, it's like a champagne color. I use this one here on the inner corner and I probably should use a smaller brush, but hey. I'm a rebel. And now I'm going to just go right back into that shadow that I used at first with the same brush. I'm not going to clean it off so that I can kind of blend the two, shadow, the two shimmery shades together.
Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this Milani Shadow Eyes Aquatic Style Pencil. And because you know I have to match my clothes. <laughs> and I'm just going to line my lower lash line with that. And then after that, I'm going to smudge it first with, let's see, I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Smudger Brush. And then after I do that, I'm going to go in with this Aquadisiac from MAC um, to set it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the um, Icon Pro Palette, and I have this double end smudger and fluffy brush combo from Echo Tools, and I think I'm going to use this kind of um, coffee shade that's right here, and smudge out underneath this blue liner combination, and um, then blend that out. So now I'm going to use my LA Colors Liquid Liner. Um, this is one of my favorites. I only use like three or four of them. And like I said before, I don't do the creams because they dry out so fast and then I get pissed off because now I'm stuck with this pot of stuff that I can't use. So I'm going to use this to line my eyes. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and apply my Falsies Mascara. And um, I don't think I'm going to do any lashes. <laughs> I could, but I'm not. I went into some with my mascara because my eyeliner wasn't dry. And now I have a little mess on my hands. It looks like Amy Winehouse. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of my favorite hydrating mist, which is Giavi USA Vitamin Hydrating Mist. I got this from the beauty supply store. It was $4.99. I'm running out. I love this stuff. Uh, it is perfect for getting ready to prepare to prep your face for your highlight. So for my highlight, 
I'm going to use another Echo Tools brush, it's a fan brush, and I'm going to apply the Spice Beauty Brick Highlighter. I'm going to use this Morphe blush brush and both of the blushes from my Spice Beauty Brick. Um, so I applied that to my lips. And then why I just did that, I don't know because it was already on there. It was like habit from having it open. But then after that, I just take a, a paper towel. And uh, just a piece of it and I wipe off the excess uh, if I'm using a like glossy or a satin lipstick I'll just leave it on there but since I'm using a matte lipstick uh, I'm just gonna take it off so what I'm gonna use is this Jordana quick liner for lips in mauve and that's this here. I don't know if you can see the swatch that I'm going to do. That's it. And then I'm also going to use another Jordana Lippy. This is their matte, Jordana Matte um, Lavender Lady. And that's what this looks like here. And here it is on the back of my hand. So I'm going to... I probably don't do it the way most people do. I put my lipstick on first and then I line. Um, I just do it that way. <laughs> I don't know why. So this is the look that I came up using the Icon Pro by Absolute New York. Um, I really am pleased with the eyeshadows. The shimmer shades are outstanding. The matte shades really surprised me because sometimes these matte shadows from these um, you know, less expensive brands um, come up short. But this one didn't. The color payoff was really good. I suggest you build it. Don't go in like I did the very first shadow. I went crazy with because I wasn't expecting the pigmentation to be true. Um, but I am really, really pleased with this palette. Um, I plan on using this more often. I'm not really a neutral girl, but um, I think that I can incorporate this with my more colorful looks. There is another palette um, that I'm now considering purchasing there were two i don't remember the name of the other one but this one is the master shadow collection in sahara sunset so um my review for this palette is inexpensive in my opinion especially for the color payoff um i think that most beauty supply store brands have really stepped their game up they've come up with more mainstream trendy um eyeshadow palettes blushes contour kits highlighters that works so i mean if you're on a budget like i am and you want to shop wisely you don't have to be limited to indie brands that are on instagram 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with supporting those because I have a, a couple that I truly support. But um, the beauty supply store brands are really good. You just have to find the ones that you particularly like and probably stick with those. Nika K, Absolute. LA Colors, um, there's quite a few, you know, that you can really do really well at the beauty supply store. So I hope everyone has a great day. Be beautiful and be good. Bye.